You're listening to the Amazing Facts Daily Devotional. Today's topic, Tanya and Carrie, Promise of Truth, Part 2. When Tanya prayed for God to lead her to the truth, she decided to do a Google search, and she didn't care who delivered the message. So she typed in the search box, What is truth? I didn't know what else to type. Then, a YouTube video popped up that was titled USA in Bible Prophecy by Doug Batchelor. It was from the Prophecy Code series. Tanya had never heard of Doug Batchelor, and she couldn't believe that the USA could actually be in Bible prophecy. So she listened out of curiosity. Only a few minutes into the topic, I nearly fell out of my chair. She paused his talk and ran to get her Bible. I thought maybe this guy had a secret Bible or something, but he spoke straight from the Bible, not just giving his own opinions. The Bible. Just when Tanya wished she could hear more, the program ended by stating that the entire series was available on the Amazing Facts website. So she kept listening with her Bible by her side. 24 sermons, she said. I listened to the whole seminar in two weeks. Lunchtime, weekends, early in the morning. By the end of the seminar, I really couldn't sleep. I was both impressed and shaken, she remembers. So she went back to her knees and said, God, now I am accountable. You said you would help me. Either I'm following you all the way, or I denounce you completely. Tanya was in agony. She felt she had been lied to by the Christian churches she had attended. I wrote to my pastors in the big church, but they told me I wasn't a theologian and couldn't understand these things. They told her that she was in the minority with her new beliefs, but she shared Matthew 7.13, Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and there are many who go in by it. After that, she says, I decided to accept the truth that I had found. Tanya wrestled with how she would make the changes in her life. But God did give her strength, and she found a Sabbath-keeping church located just one mile from her house. She was welcomed and found that people lived the truth they believed. Her struggle was over. But then the next battle began. How would she tell her husband? Have you ever experienced a spiritual battle that stretched you to the limit? Remember. God promises to give you strength and wisdom. Our key Bible text today comes from John 18, 38. Pilate saith unto him, What is truth? And when he had said this, he went out again unto the Jews, and saith unto them, I find in him no fault at all. Thank you for listening to the Amazing Facts Daily Devotional.